to you. I want to ask Joanne a question. Eh? Now, tomorrow uh, has been touted to be the the where Kenyans meet their destiny or it's a fate destiny. But the the ring leader is Raila Odinga. What do you think would happen if tomorrow is all hype and probably nothing much comes out of it? Do you think it's a do or die for Raila? Will this make him or deflate him? Given that we have seen other scenarios where he hyped us, for example, where he said nobody can stop reggae and it was stopped. He said so many other things. So could tomorrow probably be a do or die for him? Uh, for that question, I don't think tomorrow is a do or die for Raila, because the people who are coming on the street to demonstrate, it's because it's because of the things that are there. It's not we are not going to the street because of Raila. We are not going there to either to like to defend Raila, whether he's going to be to continue to be an opposition leader or whether he's going to continue being in politics. No. Tomorrow is not about Raila Amolo Dinga. Tomorrow mm -hmm. is about cost of living. Tomorrow is about the servers being open. Tomorrow is about everything else that is happening in Kenya. So for me personally, and maybe for other people, I don't think it's a do or die for Raila. No, it's not. Tomorrow will happen, whatever will happen will happen. But Raila, I think, will still be there. And we are also thankful to God that he's still giving more strength. And let me tell you the truth. You know, the people who are still giving Raila the strength. It's the government. Because they keep on mentioning him. They keep on giving him strength to continue being the strongest opposition leader. So for me, what I can tell you personally, tomorrow is not a do or die for Raila. We are demonstrating because of the things that are happening in Kenya. And we have to be honest that everything that is going on in Kenya now is not good. This is the Kenya we have never seen. Although my age and uh, where I am, my age and whatever is happening, I cannot, I cannot say more, but this is not the Kenya maybe that was there from 1980 something and whatever. We are really suffering, both who voted for Ruto and both who did not vote for Ruto. So tomorrow, nobody should say that it's a do or die for Raila. No. We are not demonstrating because Raila told us so. You know, we are coming out to defend our rights. We are coming out because of the cost of living. We are also coming out, we must say, we must. I must be honest also, because we want also the servers to be open. You know, if Ruto really knows that he won the election, he just opened the servers. Then we'll be like, no, okay, the servers are showing this. What could we do? No, he won the election. Now we could have been convinced that this is the president. We need to move on. But for him delaying to say, oh, we won't open. Oh, these people should go to Mandamano. Then they'll see us. We will deal with them. So let me cut everything short and just tell you tomorrow is not a do or die for Raila. It's about the things that are happening in Kenya. That's final for me. Hope I have answered you. You have, and and maybe do 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 you still believe that as as much as we want to give him a benefit of a doubt, do you see Uhuru's hand in funding all this? I mean, it's just a hype statement from the other side. Let me tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. There's a hand. Let me just mm -hmm. tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. From a source somewhere, there's a hand. I cannot okay. like tell everything where my source is coming from and everything, but there's a hand in it. And we are we are really happy. You know, he's doing it under the water so that he cannot, you know, he's the former president. He cannot just do it openly for everyone to see, you know, because he's now the former president. But uh I I can tell you there's a hand. Okay. Now that yeah. what you have answered makes me go. Mzalenda, I don't know if you are ready. Uh, if you're not, I, I want to go to uh, Mzalendo. Oh, I see you. You came, Mzalendo came very early. Actually, he was the second person to log in. Now, Mzalendo, let me ask you before I come to Charles, who will be next. And then after Charles, I'll go to William. Now, Mzalendo, John says somehow, somehow, Uhuru's hand is in all this. I ask you this, sir. 
Do you think probably Uhuru is doing what Ruto used to do to him? Because Ruto 